So the patient we're seeing today is a young and active 26 year old male who enjoys outdoor activities such as rock climbing. Unfortunately, a few days ago, he did have an accident that resulted in a head injury. At that time, he was seen at the emergency room and presented with dizziness, nausea, and fatigue. It's been a couple of days since he was seen in the emergency room, so we're gonna do some testing to see where he's at at this point. Hey Ted, thanks for coming in today. Um, I looked over your chart, it says you're 26, but that you had an accident recently where you hit your head. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, uh, this weekend. I was uh, rock climbing and I fell and I hit my head. Um, went to the ER because I was throwing up. It was really, really bad. Um, so that was about two, three days ago. Um, so I still have a bunch of definitely pain and dizziness, especially when I move my head too much. Um, yeah. Okay, great. Well, let's do some testing today to see how you're doing. All right, so I'm just getting the sensor off of the charger. I'm going to turn it on and the sensor is going to go on this headband. So, and then the headband is going to go around your head. We can tighten it up as we need to. And what's nice about this is you can leave your glasses on. So that's going to sit, sit up nice and tall for me, looking straight ahead. Perfect. And let's make sure that's centered there. There we go. Now I'm gonna tighten it up. Let me know when it feels secure. That's good. Okay, perfect. Okay, so for the test, I'm gonna give you this remote control. Okay. And what's gonna happen is the first trial that we're gonna do, you're gonna keep your head still. You're gonna see a box on the television and inside the box, there is going to be an optotype. To you, it's gonna look like a bracket. Your job is to tell me which way the opening to the bracket is facing. Is it facing up, mm -hmm. to the right, down, or to the left? Okay. When you decide that, you're gonna press which direction that opening is on your remote control. So up, right, down, or left. After that, we're gonna do a couple with me moving your head at a certain speed or a certain velocity. And again, your job is just to tell me which way the bracket is facing. If you don't know, I don't want you to guess. You can just tell me I don't know and I'll enter that for you. Okay, as a reminder for this portion of the test, you're gonna keep your head still. Inside the box that's on the television, the bracket's gonna show up. It'll be either opening to the top, to the right, to the bottom, or to the left. You're gonna use the remote control to press which way um, the bracket is opening. If you're not sure, that's okay. Let me know and I can mark that on the computer for you. Okay, all right. Here we go. Perfect, all done with that portion. So for this one, I'm gonna be moving your head side to side to the beat of the metronome. Your job is the same though. You're gonna use the remote control to indicate which way the bracket is opening. Again, if you're not sure, let me know and I'll mark that on the computer. Very good. All right, we're gonna do that one more time.
Okay, so for this one, you're, I'm gonna be turning your head up and down. I'm gonna have one hand on the top of your head and one hand underneath your chin. Um, again, your job is just to indicate using the remote control which way the bracket is opening. All right, very good. All right, we're gonna do that one more time again. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, just okay. need a break. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try that again if you're ready. Yeah. Okay. Same thing, your head's gonna be moving up and down. Your job is just tell us which way the bracket is facing. That's okay, very good. All right, so these are your test results from today. When your head was moving to the right, you did really well. When your head was moving toward the left, you had a little bit of difficulty identifying which way the bracket was facing. When we moved your head up and down, you had a little bit more difficulty as well, and there was the one test that we weren't able to complete. Um, this information is really good because we can use this to come up with a treatment plan and then modify some home exercises for you. And then when you come back, we can retest this to see the progress that you've made.